reporting in. And we take you over to the raining down on Israel today as Israel tried to shoot them out of the sky. What are the role of the mainstream media in the context of imperial invasions? Most often, mainstream media sing the narratives of those in positions of power. As such, therefore, these media become instruments of propaganda rather than serving the functions of the fourth estate. For our analysis today, we will look at one excerpt of a mainstream media coverage of uh, the Israeli intervention in Palestine and the way in which this gets framed in this particular media report. We take you overseas now to the rockets raining down on Israel today. Talking about the Israeli attack on Palestine, ABC News anchor Diane Sawyer discusses this as rockets raining down on Israel. She frames, therefore, the narrative, the story, in the form of rockets that are being put upon Israel and therefore Israel is in a reactive space. Let's listen further. As Israel tried to shoot them out of the sky. As you would expect from the story then, Israel simply responds or reacts. In this case, it tries to shoot these rockets out of the sky. The narrative, therefore, unfolds as one of uh, geosecurity and strategy. What could Israel potentially do but try to protect itself and do so by attacking Palestine? All part of the tinderbox, Israelis and Palestinians. And All part of the tinderbox, Israelis and Palestinians. By framing this, as a war and all part of a tinderbox, the narrative completely ignores a one-sided imperial invasion with one side having much more power, artillery, corporate and military support as compared to the other side. And here an Israeli family trying to salvage what they can. One woman standing speechless among the ruins. The ultimate deception of the story, however, comes in the misframing of the images that you see in this particular part of the narrative. This actually happens to be a Palestinian family that has been attacked by the weaponry that has been uh, thrown off on uh, Palestine, but this gets actually framed as an Israeli uh, family amidst the ruins. This deception holds the key to the mainstream media narrative, a narrative that juxtaposes imagery, that shifts imagery in order to carry out a powerful story that is indeed deceptive and uh, located much farther away from the truth in terms of what is actually happening on the ground. Once this story gets uh, picked up in a number of blogs and alternative media, uh, multiple uh, bloggers start pointing out that this story is concocted, these images are concocted, Diane Sawyer then takes to the airwaves to apologize. Let's now listen to the apology. Now a note. On Tuesday evening, we made a mistake. And I want to put up these pictures again because during an introduction to a story on the conflict between the Israelis and Palestinians, I misidentified these powerful images. The people in these photos are Palestinians in Gaza in the aftermath of an airstrike by Israel not Israelis, as I mistakenly describe them. The apology simply frames this as a news error. It correctly identifies the images now, saying that these are images of Palestinians who are in the midst of the kinds of ruins that have been created by attacks by Israel and not Israelis. However, it does not go on to correct the rest of the frame of the story that got articulated in the previous version and continues to be re-narrated. And that version of the story continues to frame this as a story of war, a story of uh, Israeli response to Hamas attacks, and as a story that justifies the interventions that are being carried out by Israel within the context of Palestine. So when we read mainstream media, and look at the role that the mainstream media play within the context of conflicts such as the Israel-Palestine conflict. We have to ask questions such as who funds these mainstream media? What are the sources of funding for these mainstream media? And what are the political agendas that are tied to these sources of funding? Beyond that, we have to ask questions about truth 
evidence and what we see in reality as opposed to the narratives and images that are circulated on mainstream media. For us to critically understand the role of the media, we have to push further to look closely at the ways in which media narratives continue to replicate positions of those in power rather than interrogating these positions of power.